Welcome to our StarCraft II Benchmarking Instructional Guide. So this will allow you to benchmark StarCraft II just like us. So it should be noted, first of all, that we use the Ultra and Extreme presets. We benchmark at 1080p with no anti-aliasing. And Slick is going to walk you through. There's links in the description for anything, any additional instructions you might need. But Slick is going to walk you guys through from the entry screen through to the several minute benchmark that we run in StarCraft II. Now there's a reason that we run it the way we do with a butt ton of units and all these particle effects and like sort of this intense battle and that's because StarCraft II for the most part runs on pretty much anything. So in order to actually give you guys some idea in the most intense possible scenario in the middle of a battle when your graphics card or your CPU might actually tank and lower your frame rate giving you not that smooth performance you need in order to you know, click on things accurately and in order to react to things in time, uh, we wanted to show you the worst case scenario. So guys, the idea is you can follow along with this, benchmark your own system and you can easily compare it to how our reference systems perform in this game um, so you can decide if you need to upgrade or not. I'm just going to do a quick recap of our settings. So we're running full screen, 1080p, running the ultra preset and the extreme preset with no anti-aliasing. How you find the game is just jump into arcade real quick, go to micro 3, jump in here. I'd highly recommend bookmarking it, bookmark button is just right up here. Just play a game, pretty straightforward, and start game. So we're going to start off right away by spawning 50 freaking zealots, just because that sounds awesome. Do do do. All the clicking. There we go. Then jump into Terran, spawn 30 medevacs, because no one should die on this day. Jump back to Protoss and click it again. As you can see on the tooltip, press again to show upgrades. We're going to give the Zealots armor, armor 3, and we're going to give the Zealots shields 3, so that they're all tanky as possible. Uh, mirror the whole setup over. Jump onto the other side and give them upgrades as well. Shields 3 and armor 3 yet again. Save this preset as whatever you want, just because it's a lot easier this way. I can spell. Um, a lot easier this way if you ever have to run the benchmark again. That way, say you came in with a clean slate, you cleared the board, you could just load and it would bring everything back. So instead of precisely spawning a monstrously ridiculous amount of units again, it's just all there right away. Um, your upgrades are saved, everything. It's pretty awesome. So now you just want to start, which doesn't actually start the match. It'll properly set your screen right in the position it should be in and it puts you into kind of the battle UI. So you can see over here, just pause, reset, attack, energy, all that kind of stuff. All you want to do for the pregame is throw energy on. It just gives all your medevacs full energy so that while they're healing everybody up, they won't run out. And then you just start your benchmark right when you click attack. Yes, the unit composition is totally unrealistic and this would probably never happen. Um, but that's not exactly the point, it's just there's a lot of units on screen, there's a whole bunch of particle effects from the different uh, medevacs and all that kind of stuff, so it's just lots of stuff on the screen which is pretty hard on the computer. We find that a lot of StarCraft benchmarks are too easy, too much base building, stuff like that, which isn't actually very hard on the computer, so we thought we'd throw something a little bit harder. Now this isn't as hard as it gets, we're not throwing motherships, coking everything and all that other kind of stuff at it, but this is still a pretty difficult benchmark. I hope you found this educational. Click the link in the description to visit our forum so you can post your own results and see how it compares to anything that we've pretty much ever tested in the past. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. <laughs>